So good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's Zoom. My name is Nick, and I'm coming to you from Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to everyone, South Africa, Southern Africa, US, Canada, Australia, Dubai, wherever you're from, welcome to the Zoom. It's always nice to have this big global family all together in one space. Tonight's Zoom is going to be concentrating on, on social, um, social media. That's very, very important. We all know, you know, in today's times, thank goodness we've got social media. You know, before the pandemic, we used to do home parties, which is presentations, live presentations. And uh, COVID came and Zoom just took off. And now we're doing the Zooms. And uh, a classic on this is, we had, a, we had an event uh, two days ago here in uh, Johannesburg. And uh, it's unbelievable how when you meet the people face to face, you, it's like you know them for a long time. You know, so that's the power of social media. That's the power of the internet. And I felt tonight to, to deviate a bit. You know, we've got, we've got various things we're waiting for um, before we launch. And um, I said, let me, let me, um, let me jump on a, on a social media Zoom. Let me ch uh, change it a bit. So I put together something, myself and Anthony, and uh, I'm just going to share my screen here and just a couple of slides and tell you guys and put you guys in perspective and tell you guys where we actually are, what we're doing and the mentality and how we must think. You know, you got to remember in this business, you're taking a lot of people from the employee mentality and you're converting them and you're teaching them how to think like an entrepreneur. So it's not easy for everyone and it takes you to go to your downline and to and to tell them and to put them at ease and guide them and guide them into how they got to think and not to get anxious and keep uh, uh, pressing for we want the stock where's the stock we want the stock so I decided to do a, a, a couple of slides uh, over and above Anthony's and just to take everyone through the steps now we all know what the brand is called it's called hero right spelled hero so we know what the brand is. That's step one. We know what the brand is. We obviously know that the company is called New Age, right? Okay. So we know what the brand is. So it's called Hero and it's got five categories. What are those categories? The categories are energy. So we're going to have product that is going to help us with energy. So people that are going to the gyms or people that want more, more energy during the day, uh, you know, that type of thing, we're going to have that product. So we'll have energy products. Then we've got products that are going to help you with detox. Then we're going to have products that there are immune boosters. We're going to have weight management products, and we're going to have products to help you sleep. So we know what the product's going to be. We know what the name is. The only thing missing here is what it looks like. So is that important now while we can't uh, uh, launch yet? No. It's not important. And that is what we've got to think. We've got to think that way. We've got to know that that's not important at this stage. As long as we know that the, pro the products, the brand is called Hero, it's in those five categories. Remember, everyone, so the people out there are looking for an opportunity. They're looking for a hero. And you're the hero. Every single one of you on this call now are leaders. Every single one of you on this call, even those that are listening to the recording, you guys are the heroes. You're going out there and you're going to give people an opportunity to better themselves, to transform their lives, to, to put them in a position, to make them entrepreneurs. How do you make money in your business? Through customers and through having staff. Let's call it like that, to explain to everybody. So you've got to go and recruit salespeople, okay? I don't like using the word download. So you've got to go and recruit salespeople in their own rights, but leaders in their own right. So those people are going to go out there and build their businesses. And as the lines grow, you're going to make the money. They're going to make the money. Everybody's going to make the money. And their lives are going to be transformed. So the vision of the company is to become the world's leading social selling and distribution company. And the way in which we'll achieve this, our strategy, is to build a portfolio of superior brands. Now, going back to the brand, the brand is called Hero. It's got the five categories. We know 
what Diana Latson is all about. We know what her expectations are. And already the brand that's coming made in Africa for the Africans, by the Africans, to suit our palates, okay, is going to be a superior brand. Okay, and it comes with the brand promise. It comes with a promise that whatever's in the, the ingredient, whatever it says on the label is there. So we know that we know and we've got to be excited about that. We've got to go and project that excitement out there. Okay. Let's let's just backtrack a bit and forget about when it's going to launch. Let's not worry about that for now. It's not going to be long, it's going to be weeks. But we got to use this time to make it happen to get the biggest teams we can get before launch. All we're waiting for is this, our amazing website. And trust me, it's amazing. The website is amazing. So I've asked Anthony, and that's another thing, in this business, because, because we're global, because we have people of all professions here, you know what? We don't have to go and pay for things. We don't have to get, go and pay people to get clever. You know, they're there. They're there. So I asked Anthony, who's our expert in social media, to come and share his knowledge, his expertise. And it's, it's for all of us. It's for all of you to share his time. We're not charging for our time. You are all leaders. Tomorrow, you're going to be at this, in this, sitting in this chair, doing exactly what we're doing. But for now, we're here to impart knowledge, experience, and to show everyone the way. So... Anthony Morland, you all know Anthony Morland. Anthony is a is an is an athlete. He's a runner. He's a he's a IT guru. He used to be with Apple, and he realized, you know what? It's enough making somebody rich. It's time I go and look after myself. His title is officer. He's moving up the ranks fast and furious, and he's helping. Anthony never says no. So I am so grateful to have you on our Zoom today, uh, our African brother. Our African American brother, I'm glad to have you here, Anthony. Take it away; the floor is yours. Tell us about social media and how we can improve. And bear in mind, we have millennials, we have not so millennials, and then we have people like me that know nothing. So I'm leaving everything to you. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, everybody! Happy, happy Wednesday. I hope y'all had a great and blessed day over in South Africa. And my day is midway through, but. I decided I was going to do a PowerPoint because I feel that this could really, really help everybody out if you're a visual person like myself. So I am going to share my screen here. And, you know, our, our company is New Age and we're a house of brands. And, and one of the, the things that, that hit me with this company because they want to become the world's leading social selling and distribution company. So how do you do that? Well, you do that through people like us sharing online and being the brand partners and attracting people to us by taking pictures and having fun and showing people what we do. And that's what social media is all about. Finding something that works for you. And, you know, social selling is big and it's something that a lot of people do. There's a lot of people just on Instagram that get paid just to talk about a bottle of water or post a bottle of water. And so that, that can be you as well. And so I, I had this diagram and it's six steps. So you can become a social media uh, influencer. And so I'm gonna dive into these different steps and we're gonna go through them. So, you know, six different steps. So step one is establishing your niche. Everybody's niche is different. Nick, your niche is gonna be different than mine. Uh, Yolani's niche is going to be different than mine. Uh, you know, Jimmy, Jimmy's niche is going to be different than mine. Everybody's niche is different. Some people want to, you know, some people want to attract all women. Some people want to attract and post all about weight loss. Some people want skin, do skincare. And the great thing about our company is I know y'all starting off with one brand, but I'm, very soon, I'm sure y'all will have multiple brands where you can do just that. So you got a one, even though your brand isn't there, establish your niche. Find out what you want because people say, well, we don't have the product shit. Well, great thing about social media is you can start talking about the benefits of 
clean eating. You can talk about the benefits of weight loss, the benefits of better water, the benefits of skin care. So you can still start right now, even without the product. And that's the greatest thing about it is you don't have to worry about that. Tip number two, and this is very, very important. I know a lot of people out there, they have amazing husbands, amazing wives, amazing families, amazing dogs and cats. But your profile needs to be a picture of you, not a picture of your family. Now, on Facebook, they allow you to have a cover photo so you can go put your cover photo of your family. But when I go to Nick's page on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook or wherever, it needs to be a picture of Nick. It needs to be a picture of Yolanda. So you got to brand yourself. And then in your journey and as you're posting, talk about your family, talk about your husband, talk about your spouse, talk about your girlfriend, whoever it may be. That is where you post that about your cat. See, that gives you other posts, but your profile picture needs to be a picture of you, not a picture of your team, not a picture of anybody else that you know. It needs to be a picture of you. And I actually put some examples up here. And uh, like Brent, we all know Coach Brent. It's a picture of him. Now, Selene did it, but she also did it on Instagram. Instagram is a little different when it comes about, but that's her niche. Her, her niche was she's trying to find single moms, if you know her. But you got like Dina here, and I watched Dina. Dina actually has coached me the last six months. Dina coached me, and when I first reached out to Dina, she had 18,000 followers on Instagram. Today, she has over 80,000 followers in, in less than six months. Because all she did was keep going. Stephanie as well. She's over. She's over in um, in Europe, and so Dina is in from Israel. But these are people in our company. These are people you can go follow, and learn from them. That's the same thing I did. So tip number three is know your target audience. Like you heard me mention when you was finding your niche. When you when, with this, you guys, you got to find the audience that you want to attract. If you want to attract nothing but women, then that's the audience you want. If you want to attract nothing but athletes, then that's the audience you want. And see, men, chefs, maybe you, you love cooking. You want to attract more chefs to uh, put out more clean eating, students, fitness. It doesn't matter what audience you want, but you got to figure it out. What audience are you trying to attract? Because then you got to go uh, – when you do figure out what target audience, you got to go start looking at the successful people in that field and go grab some of their ideas and put it in your own words. Uh, so for me, I'm, I'm like Coach Brent. I love posting just motivational and influential things, quotes and taking people on my journey. So that's why my page looks like that. But my page is going to be different than Yolandi's page. My page is going to be different than Nick's page. My following, my audience is going to be different. And see, um, also, some of y'all may already have audiences and things you're following uh, that, and this also goes with your profile, same way you was cleaning that up, you probably got to clean up some of your friends. Maybe you've outgrown some of your friends, and, and this is going to hurt some people, but some of y'all have outgrown some of your family. Some of your family is just negative. Ne they, all they do is negative. Like, is that what you truly want in your life? Sometimes you got to separate. Hey, I love you. I care about you. But this ain't the direction I'm going in. And so so you got to you got to find out your audience, clean up what you already have on your profile. And then tip number four is you got to create relevant content and valuable content. So either one. So relevant content is just over time. Like it got to be something that. You can't talk about, we all know about Facebook and, and Instagram, and some of y'all don't. But you can't go and talk about MySpace. That, you know, that's a little older, out of date. That's that's something that's not around anymore. You, you, you don't want to talk about all the old things. Talk about where we're going now in the world. Valuable content is what are the five things that drinking clean water is about? What is, why, why should somebody follow the approved food list? Why should somebody make extra income? Why should somebody have a home-based business? Find, go, if you don't know the answer, Google should be your best friend. Go and Google five reasons why somebody should have a secondary income. 
why somebody should have a mentor, whatever it is that you're creating out there, just remember it just value is always what's going to attract people, not the products. If you know this on Brent Palmer's page, he doesn't post about the products. On my page, I don't post about the products too much. 80-20 rule. And when I say that, 80% of your content should be relevant content and valuable content. The other 20% should be about the product. And then I still wouldn't even show the name because I don't like people going to Google and trying to figure it out and trying to buy it somewhere else. I want people to reach back out to me. I want people to like curiosity. So, and that's what I want you to understand is like, even though you don't have a product, doesn't mean you still can't put out content. Doesn't mean you still can't fall up, grow a following. Doesn't mean you can't still get out there and practice. The greatest thing about social media is there's a delete button. That's the greatest button. Now, because if you mess up and it doesn't get the interactions that you want, you can delete it and post it another time. That's the greatest thing about social media. So don't worry about messing up. If it's something that you feel you could have done better, you can delete it. And then the next tip, this is big. It's just like picking up the phone and calling somebody and having them come here about the opportunity is you got to be consistent. See, social media doesn't grow just by you posting once a week. I'm sorry, or once every two weeks. It's not going to grow like that. You got to be engaging. And, and I'm not saying it should, you know, take all your time, but at least 30 minutes a day, you need to be working on if that's if this is where you want to build a social media, which I'm pretty sure that you want to, because it wouldn't be 48 people on here at, at on nighttime on a Wednesday night trying to learn about it. So you got to post consistently daily. So 30 minutes a day, you need to be interacting on Facebook, reaching out to people. Post, making a post on yourself. So every single day, at least 30 minutes, you should be doing that. If you want to become an influencer on social media, that's what you have to do. And then tip number six is just be authentic. Uh, we actually just talked about this on the mastermind and this is so true. I'm not a big flashy type person and that may not be you either. So when somebody say, oh, take a picture by my car and then you can post it on your social media, that's not me. If it's not mine, I want it. Then, then I'll post it when I when I get my own, when I buy my own Lamborghini, not when I'm next to Fred Cooper's or Mark Wilson's. You know, so that's not what I want to do. I'm gonna post it when I have my own, and you know, so you have to be authentic. Just be you. If other people are out there looking for somebody like yourself, and these are based off of last year, these are where most influencers are right now. They use marketing. You see, number one is Instagram. And that's why it's so big right now. YouTube would be number two. So if you're not afraid of the camera and you don't mind making a video, and even if you are, do it anyway. Just make a video and talk about something. Five, five benefits to why you should be on social media. Five benefits to why you should use Facebook over Instagram or whatever. Whatever you want to talk about, find it. But I encourage everybody to have an Instagram just because of this aspect right here. This is where people are making money on Instagram, not YouTube, not, they're making money on YouTube right after that, but 89% of the people that make money online make it on Instagram. So why not go and be a part of that? You know, so just something to think about. And social selling is big, you guys. Everybody has a phone in their hand a lot of times. Everybody has a tablet around, a computer around. People are always looking for somebody to like, to comment, to share, to reply. So Online social media is the place where everybody loves giving their opinion. They may not ever say anything when they're next to you, but online they're going to give their opinion. And so... Why not get into that area where you can actually meet more people? It's a that is the best way to grow a business. Y'all could be in South Africa and or in Africa in general and build in America and build in Europe all because of social media, because you just never know who will reach out to you. And that's what you gotta always remember. And our company is doing things that are remarkable to help us out. I know that y'all aren't able to log in just yet, but get this though. I had to show y'all this because this is something that 
y'all will have access to very soon. You will be able to have a global website that you can just send a friend to and they can order. And it will look, I mean, a lot of y'all can go to newage.com and look at it like this, but it would, it would let your friends know who they're shopping with. You know, they'll be able to go in there and shop and pick whichever brand they want to do. And that's what our company is doing for us. We didn't have to pay for that. I know a lot of business. I see Yolanda on here and she's a business owner. I know Nick is a business owner. And there's a lot of money that goes into marketing and to building the website where our company took care of that. Our company built it a multi. It took them multi millions of dollars just to do, just to build. And, you know, so that is one thing that I, I just want y'all to just think about. And then we have this amazing app. Oh, I went too far. So this amazing app will have a lot of things in there. PDFs, videos. You will be able to talk about uh, the compensation plan. Y'all have y'all compensation plan in there, but you may have a friend in America. They'll be able to see that compensation plan. A friend, And it all is in the app. All in one. So you get all of that in one. Then, not only that, you'll be able to make a video and be able to send it out to people from your app or make it on your phone and then send it. That is absolutely amazing. And it's a free app. Y'all can download it. Um, Y'all aren't able to log in just yet, but it will come. I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that is coming, you know, and you know, the graphic, the fact sheets, the social, like you'll be able to share PDFs straight to your store. You'll be able to share PDFs in a message where your friend will click on it and it'll take them right to your website if they're ready to order right there. And all you did was share a PDF about what it was. And that's all coming. That's all things that you can get excited about. And that's why growing your social media is so important because, well, if you want to be more sociable and have more people join you when the button does go off, well, why not go out there and already be networking with people and already be grabbing a following? And that's what this will allow you to do. This app was just tie into what you already have. You'll be able to sync your contacts right into the app. Like all you have to do is just sync it right on in. Also, this is one of my the best features I've ever seen is I'll be able to send a video to Nick. Nick clicks on it and starts watching it. It would tell me how much Nick watched, but I also sent the same video to Yolanda and she told me she watched it, but she only watched 20%. It would tell you that. So these are tools that are coming, but you got to build your network on social media. And so I just want to let y'all know, it, uh, it'll come in just like this. And at the end of the video, uh, it also comes with, I mean, this is something that I know, for instance, like Brent spent thousands of dollars on at one point, but it would have a automatically lead capture page built into it. Like it'll grab their information for you. You don't know their name. You don't know their, but they follow you on Instagram or they follow you on YouTube and they click on the link and they go in there. Guess what? It's going to get their name, their phone number, their email and, and different things like that already built in on the app. And again, you'll be able to, you know, show videos and different things like that. Also, one of the greatest things they did was they put like new onboarding videos to show people just the basics of what it's like to, I mean, Nick has experience in this industry, but everybody does it. Some people are brand new, don't know how to make a story, don't know, you know, what, with a how to log in so they made like these little two three minute videos and they're real nice and they just go through the different topics um that of our company that a person can learn and again social selling is is all really about you you branding yourself not branding new age see new age is already a half a billion dollar company you need to go out there and you need to brand nick show people you because people join people not people join a brand, they don't join, they join people, they join you. So share you, share what you're doing, share it. Maybe you and the kids went to the park. Well, share that. Maybe you went grocery shopping and this is what, you know, your healthy eating was like, and this is what you bought. Well, share that, you know, take people on your journey, find value and do just that. 
And that's all I really have, Nick. That was my little PowerPoint I put together just for everybody uh, to kind of show people a visual of what we have here. But, Nick, I will pass it back to you. I don't know if you had any questions or anything. I, I hope I didn't go too fast for everybody. No, absolutely. No, no, you hit it on the head there. It's, it was amazing. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. You know, uh, when you know, knowledge is power. When you know what to do, while we're waiting, and that's the, the, the subject of tonight's Zoom, while we're waiting for the launch, let's get busy. Let's get busy. Let's get ourselves out there. Anthony mentioned people are not buying the product. They're buying you. So go out there and market yourself. Market yourself, and the product will come afterwards. And even then, they're not going to buy the product. They're going to buy what the product does. Always remember that. They're going to buy what the product does. So we have, we have the company. We have um, the standard of the product. We know what it is. We have the, the, the name of the brand of the product. We know the categories that the products are going to come in. Those are the five fast-moving uh, categories we're starting off with. Um, we know the quality of the product based on the actual how the company runs. We know a $500 million company that's still a startup and nobody knows about it. Just, just, just picture the position that we're all in on this African continent. There's a company that's successful wherever it is in the world and it's coming here. And the reason why they're not launching is because they're not ready. So do we want to launch, sell product and then we don't have a website. Where are we going to register the people? Where are we going to find the product, see the product, price the product, work out commissions, what we're going to earn? We can't do anything until the website goes live. Everything else is ready. Cameron Bot, for those of you that were on the Zoom the other day, the products are locked in a warehouse. They're ready. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. All we're waiting for is that switch. We're waiting for that switch. So I'm imploring on all of you guys. Okay. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's not forget the power of four. Go to your downlines. See who hasn't recruited enough people yet. Go help them. Get them to, to bring in people. Okay. The power of more. Remember, not everybody's going to go the journey with us. Okay. So let's not stop. When they say to you, that where's the product, where's the product, you know, tell them what you've just heard tonight. Tell them what you've heard tonight. Tell them the product's name, there's the product. The product's going to be about this, right? So uh, we're getting a new web website. There's going to be an app. There's a lot of great things happening. Just be excited for where you guys are all are, okay? Be excited because we are in a position that nobody, there's very few, very few are in this position that we're in, okay? We are in a position that we can only go to the top. We can only go to the top. And why is everybody here? Why is everybody here tonight? Because you all want to go to the top. And you know what? Nobody will get left behind. And that's a promise. We go, doesn't matter whose team you're in, we go all, we go one. That's it. That's us. All together. Okay? So, Anthony, thank you again. Thank you very much for, for your time. I hope everybody found uh, found value in tonight's Zoom. I don't want to I don't want to drag it out too long. Short, sharp, to the point. Social media very important. We know we've got a purpose. We're on a mission. Let's go in the US. They are leveling up in South Africa, in Southern Africa. Let's go 10x. And for those of you guys that don't know 10x, we had number X. Let's go 10x, 10 times more, because Next year, next year, like this, eh? Next year, we don't want to be in this position. We want to be 10x. We want to be 10 times. So good night, everybody. You can, um, you can uh, unmute. You can say good night. And I thank you all once again for being on the Zoom. Nice to see everyone again. Thursday's Zoom, we're going to talk about the event. So be on the Zoom. We'll put out the links and everything tomorrow. Thank you for being us. Good night. Thanks, Nick. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thanks, Goodbye. Nick. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.